we need to catch moms very early, um, in the first trimester preferably, to help them be successful with breastfeeding. It is too late once they're in the hospital. It is important to educate the whole family because they are going to be mom's support system. Dad, grandmothers especially, they're very influential. The average amount of time that an obstetrician spends talking with his or her patient regarding breastfeeding is 39 seconds. That is crazy. Patients really want to please their doctor. If their doctor tells them, I want you to look more into this breastfeeding, it's really important for your health as well as for your baby's health, then I feel like the mom is gonna maybe make that extra effort to go and find a class and to read all that she can. I typically will have three different conversations with the woman about breastfeeding throughout the pregnancy. At that first visit, I like to just explore their prior breastfeeding experiences if they've had children before and answer any questions that they have just generally about breastfeeding and encourage them to breastfeed. Later on in the pregnancy, usually 28 weeks or so, I like to talk to them a little bit about some of the more nuts and bolts. Practical things like how do you know when your baby's hungry? How do you know what a latch looks like? I try to encourage them to go to pregnancy classes, um, specifically breastfeeding classes, because there's a lot of practical information that they need at this point in time. Near the time of delivery, so around 36 weeks or so, I go over with them about the hospital. Things like, we don't have a low-risk nursery. We want the baby to stay in the room with you. I like them to know that if the baby is well at birth, well baby, well mama, we will go skin to skin. So the baby will immediately go to the mother and stay with the mother uninterrupted for the first hour of life. The reason it's so important for couples to know this before delivery is because the family needs to know they won't get their baby's weight. We can get the weight to the family a little bit later. It's helpful for the hospital because when she gets there, then it's not a surprise. We do have some challenges in getting moms to come to classes. We're trying to improve that. And so I would come over to the clinic and set up a class when they were in for their glucose tolerance test. And I made it much more a discussion group than a class. For instance, talking about the size of the baby's tummy in the first few days of life. It's about the size of a cherry. So the baby doesn't need an ounce of formula in his tummy. He just needs a little bit of, of colostrum. That prepared these moms to come into the hospital and not want to immediately give formula to their baby. When we first started implementing the 10 steps in our facility, we had 0% uh, breastfeeding education prenatally. So I approached our OB offices and they actually replaced the formula bags with our breastfeeding education bags. Our prenatal flip charts have been really successful. We did a full-blown education and actually found out that a lot of our office staff didn't know the, just the basic benefits of breastfeeding. Once we did our education, there was more buy-in, so they were more apt to go through the flip charts with the patients as they came in. We've worked really hard on uh, making a seamless communication line with our physicians, with our families, et cetera, about breastfeeding. We want to ensure that our practice and what we have here for our families is based on the evidence in the literature to ensure that when they go home as a couplet, they have safe breastfeeding experiences after they're discharged from the hospital. Mothers who are going back to work often think they, they cannot breastfeed. And I hear that a lot from moms. We need to provide moms with resources after they leave the hospital. We got to talk to a lot of other facilities that were going through the same challenges that we had as far as developing prenatal education. And all of the changes that we've made have definitely improved our overall breastfeeding outcomes and overall outcomes for all of our patients, all of our babies.